An activist uh, displeased with the infightings in political parties, warning that it could affect women participation in politics. Richard Olwen has more. This has been some of the chaotic scenes in the worst leading opposition party, Forum for Democratic Change, where the two faction groups, one loyal to party president, Patrick Oboy Amuriat, and Secretary General Nathan Nandala Mafabi, up against Ibrahim Semuju and Lord Mayor faction group over their alleged dirty money from the National Resistance Movement. <laughs> Not only in FDC, a similar wrangle is ongoing in the Democratic Party, where President General Nobat Mao is being castigated for signing a memorandum of understanding with the ruling National Resistance Movement. Angry women activists are concerned, saying such violent tendencies sway women away from their leadership position and consequently affect their participation in politics. As a woman wanting to get into leadership, I'm thinking, do I want to get into a space that is congested, that is confused? Do I want to be a part of the mess? And especially if we are talking about the transformative leaders that we are building. And when you are giving, rendering service to people, you must listen to them, you must hear their ideas, you must all come out with a democratic decision. The political parties have majorly been offering women a platform to compete favorably in politics at all levels. The angry women under their umbrella organization, Forum for Women in Democracy, argue that such infighting narrows the space for women. Even while contestation is going on in whichever space a leader is in, I think the principle is about you, the individual. What picture do you want to portray to the public? What kind of leader do you want to be perceived as? My concern is about women not being left behind. You hear? That's why we train women in leadership to make them know that when God created men and women, he created them all leaders. The women activists are now preaching messages of resilience through training young women leaders to hang on regardless of the infighting in the respective parties. The young women who have undergone two weeks leadership training have vowed not to give up. The struggle, because struggle is really for the fittest, but when I am resilient, when I am strong enough that I can challenge, I have character, I have integrity, I can actually get there. When something fails, you need to stand up again. And as a leader, giving up is not your choice. Even if you fail in some other sector, you can use your power in some other sector. Richard Olwain, NBS, Live at Nine.